They obviously do. Uh, they are contained in a book that was written inside the era of the Christian church, very early in the era of the Christian church. And it is obvious that the author thinks that the Sermon on the Mount gives us some very lofty spiritual advice. It would be foolish to read it in any other way. And so what we would recognize is that the Sermon on the Mount, remember, had a double audience. The disciples came and sat before Jesus, so he's talking basically to them. But there's a very large, larger audience uh, in which there are many, many people that are unsaved. So Jesus works with both audiences. But from the standpoint of the disciples who are listening to this, they are learning what the standards of the kingdom are. They're on their way to the kingdom. They have believed in the king. They know the kingdom is coming. All right, here are the standards that the king will expect to be carried out in the kingdom. Aren't they standards that we ought to live up to, to the best of our ability by the grace of God? We're not going to be perfect, but we can aim at it.